Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part one of our Appium with C Sharp video series. So this video series is going to be a all new video series in Appium and we're going to discuss working with Appium using C Sharp and we're going to automate all the application using C Sharp language. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch Understanding Appium playlist of our Execute Automation channel, Appium with Java video series of our Execute Automation channel. So we have already discussed about Appium a lot in these two playlists already. So this part and all the videos of this particular playlist will be more likely the same as Appium with Java video series. If you have a very good understanding with Appium with Java, then this Appium with C Sharp videos of this particular series is going to be a cakewalk for you. So downloading and referencing Appium. So as we already discussed in part five of understanding Appium video series, we just need to reference the Appium via Nugget package manager for Visual Studio. That's it. It's pretty, pretty simple in Visual Studio than compared to Java Eclipse. So let's not waste our time and flip to Visual Studio. So this is my Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new project and I'm going to create a very, very fairly simple unit test project. And uh, let's call this project as a simple Appium and I'm going to hit OK. So this will create a simple Appium project for me. And it's going to be a any unit project as well. So here is something which is automatically created for me by Visual Studio. And you can see that it has nothing right now. So if you see the solution explorer, it has just a CS file and there are some reference for the unit testing, that's it. So I'm going to add the reference for the Appium. So for doing that, I'm going to the manage NuGet packages. So I'm gonna hit that and it just searches for all the package to load up and I'm gonna search for Appium. So this will bring the package required for Appium. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit install. So this is the latest stable version. So I'm going to install this one and you can see that it automatically adds some of the dependencies required for the Appium. So it is installing the Appium web driver and it's installing some of the castle.core and Newton soft JSON parser. And once everything is done, it's just executing the PS1 file to add into your project. That's it. So now everything is added. All right, it just finished. And you can close this NuGet package manager. And now you can go to the reference and you can see that a lot of things are automatically added for you. Right. Since Appium runs on the top of WebDriver, the WebDriver and WebDriver support is being added. And since Appium requires a JSON parsing stuff for communicating with your client library with Appium server, this JSON is also required. And this is the Appium.NET driver. So everything is automatically installed for you. So you don't have to worry anything about that. Right. Awesome. And now everything is done into your machine. So now you can start working with this particular project to uh, create a simple Appium test and start working from there. So this is the very, very fairly simple setup for your Appium using Visual Studio, right? So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.